Hello everybody. Um, this is me sitting in my car with all of my highlight things in because I've just had to leave the hairdresser because I have to go pick up my guest um, from the bus station because they flew in um, to Portugal yesterday and couldn't get into Ireland because the PCR was um, off by a couple hours or whatever and <laughs> um, it's this thing about guests coming to see me here in Ireland. And so um, they've flown in and I was supposed to be getting them before I got my hair done. And then they got detained in immigration because immigration went through their phones and saw a conversation about um, for a year, I've been trying to convince um, this doctor to move to Ireland and come work with me. And um, the conversation goes way back. And, uh, you know, he said, all right, you know what, we're going to come because I'm, I'm leaving for two weeks. And he said, I'm going to come. They're going to stay in my cottage. They're taking care of my doggies um, and seeing if they like Ireland, you know, the twins. Um, but, uh, you know, like they're not going to kind of pick up and move to Ireland sight unseen and have return tickets and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, so they got stopped in immigration. Immigration took the phones off of them and have decided that these guys are coming to move to Ireland. Um, and um, it's insanity. We're living in absolute insanity. But you know what? That's okay. Um, today's my rebirth day! So, uh, yes, I am 30 today. 30 years um, on, this, uh, on this journey post near death experience and um yeah it's pretty freaking awesome so you know what i sit here i'm looking at myself like this and um do everything that's my that's my big special message to you today because it's absolutely crackers out here um and that's what makes me love it here and makes me love being here because it's everything is uncertain everything is unpredictable um, it keeps you on your toes. I've just had to jump out of the hairdresser's chair so that I can go collect um, two people who are coming as guests to our country um, and who have been harassed by Irish immigration. Yet again, story of it. You know, it's just, I must be like flagged in the system or something, whatever. Um, yeah, so, um, so that's that. And, um, you know, gosh, now when I'm really trying to convince somebody, hey, I really need you to move to Ireland and come to work, um, work with me. And they're like, really? Would I really want to do that? Um, because so far it's not going so great. And I'm just like, oh my God, what's happened to us? You know, literally what's happened to us? Um, but anyway, that's life. So uh, here's me super excited just to be freaking alive. And um, I'm, I've had a wonderful, wonderful 30th rebirth day today. And, you know, December 14th, 1991, my entire world changed. And it's been changing every day ever since. And um, I'm just so happy to be here and so happy to be alive. And um, I'm so grateful that I get to do what I do. And I'm so grateful that I have the personality that I do, that I'm just like, get out there and risk everything. Go do it all. Do whatever. And I'm like loving life right now. Absolutely loving life. There's nowhere else I'd rather be than uh, right here on planet Earth, in Europe, in Ireland, in Athlone, in this car, with these things in my hair, going up, going to pick up my very tired um, house guests. And um, yeah, like... What else is possible? This is awesome.